Ah, good morning. Hi, Hi, sweetie. How are you today? <laughs> oh, you got mess all over <laughs> all over yourself. Hi, guys. Hey. Morning. <laughs> well, good morning. Magandang umaga. And welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today is Tuesday, and it is Bill Day 167. Yes, Bill Day 167 on a construction schedule out of Villa Feliz. Uh, this morning, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do a checkup on what's going on. Uh, just make sure that the roofing team has started and see what's going on with some of the tiles in the basement. Then there's gonna be, there is going to be a uh, quick run into town today. I, I remember the other day when I went into town, I couldn't pay for my smart Wi-Fi device because all the computers were down. So hopefully today, uh, the computer systems are online. I can pay the bill, and I'm bringing John's tablet, his Samsung tablet. The tablet is hosed all together. It's the screen is all broken. Nothing works on the inside, and I'm gonna try to see if I can go to a service center to help him out and try to get his tablet back working again, so that he can watch my PI dream. So anyway, we'll see how that works out. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and get out to the job site. Uh, it's early this morning. It's a little bit cloudy. Uh, so who, it, it's it's a 50-50 chance. You never know what the situation is going to be for weather today. So let's take advantage of the weather while it's dry, uh, get things started, and get today moving. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Good morning, how are you today? Hi. Ah, the tomatoes were awesome. Very good, very good. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. How are you today? Good, how are you? Uh, I'm very good. Those bananas were awesome yesterday. And you were right. One, one type is sweeter than the other type. Uh, but you gave me so many. I can't eat. And they, they're ripening very quickly. Uh -huh, yeah. So today it's going to be like banana, 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 banana. I'll be eating lots of bananas today. Ah, I didn't want to miss you this morning. <laughs> Good morning. What are you getting? That's that's banana. Oh, what are, you, are you getting a spider? Uh -uh. Oh, that's where you get your spiders from. See you later. So anyway, I realized I might have made a really big mistake. I left my, I left my umbrella home. <laughs> and, then, and I think we're gonna get rain today. Uh. Morning, cow. How are you today? <laughs> so anyway, here's a bunch of grass. And we're gonna bring some grass to the house. So I'll meet you down there? Okay. So anyway, I wasn't expecting this. They're gonna, they're actually gonna lay the side down. I thought I was just gonna have a delivery and I was gonna lay it myself, get all sweaty and nasty, but seems like this is part of the deal.
All right, well, there you have it. We have a little bit of uh, grass. That's my front yard. That's my lawn uh, for now. Anyway, the, the, the folks that came down from Laguna, uh, they brought a couple of different kind of grasses for me to take a look at. I want you to look at this other grass that we have over here. And uh, they're calling this bluegrass. Uh, you see this right here? So I asked them to leave, leave a small section of the bluegrass and uh, I'm going to let that grow in that area right there. And I'm going to take a look at that because that's actually really nice. That's almost like golf course kind of grass. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that. And this is August. Uh, then we have September, October. No I'm thinking by around Dece uh, no November, somewhere around no between November and December, uh, when everything is supposed to be done and the yard is supposed to be cleared and we can do some excavation out here and landscaping and things like that. Uh, if that grass, oh, we got some uh, pilot training going on above. <laughs> of course it happens on cue, it seems like whenever I'm trying to talk on the camera, that or, or the wind blows up. So anyway, uh, we will keep an eye on this grass right here. And then what we'll do is uh, we will uh, make a determination whether we want uh, the carabelle grass or the bluegrass. I kind of like the bluegrass, uh, we'll see. Well, anyway, I have some business to do in town, uh, and the business involves paying my smart bill. Remember, we went to the uh, mall the other day, and none of the computers were up. So I need to get my, my Wi-Fi plan taken care of. Uh, I'm going to drop John's, uh, you know, the little boy John that was part of one of the kids out there. He, his, his Samsung tablet is shattered. The glass is all shattered. Nothing comes out. Nothing powers up. And I feel sorry for him, so I'm going to... Uh, uh, take take that in just get an estimate to see if they can actually do a repair and how much it would cost to get a repair uh, and we'll do that I'll grab a bite to eat for lunch and then we'll be back out here at Villa Feliz but before we go let's take a look and see what got done this morning Okay, change of plans. Change of plans one for today. Uh, I am not going now to uh, the mall, not at least this time of day. I just got notified that the people from the windows and door company that we are doing for the UPPC uh, windows and doors here, sliding glass doors, uh, they're coming by for their uh, final measurements uh, for the, the beginning of the build of our windows and doors. <laughs> so I need to be here for that. So once they get that, and every time they've come here, it's, it's usually like a two hour process. So we will try to get down. Maybe it'll be a close of business kind of thing today uh, to try to get business taken care of downtown. Or maybe it will integrate into tomorrow. Because remember tomorrow, uh, we are scheduled to go into Alabang and go to Kelly for the 3D CAD uh, presentation for our kitchen. <laughs> So uh, maybe we can do both of those tomorrow. Take uh, knock out mm, two birds with one stone, so to say. So anyway, tin work being started for the drop down, small drop down ceiling in the lanai for bedroom number one on uh, the first floor. Also, some of the plastic coat being done, the fine, I've been waiting for this to get done for quite some time too. On the uh, back stairways that go down into the basement, I've been waiting for this to get taken care of. And as you can see, we have water setting up down here. You remember I said how great our drainage is? Well, our drainage is great. Remember we were doing, for about two months, we were doing mixing, concrete mixing here on the back the back patio and the back patio they were dumping over the the residual cement over into this area so the bottom of that is like a bathtub and they're gonna have to break up all of that concrete and allow proper drainage and then we will do the proper uh pvc pipes that we're going to use the perforated pvc pipes for the proper drainage and we'll do the waterproofing but i asked my builder to get somebody on that as soon as possible because i don't want that water sitting up on the wall uh of the of the basement because right now there's a chance that it can we're going to be doing waterproofing very soon and i want the, all that wall to be dry because we still have to do more of the plaster coating down there that gets it from the main wall with concrete hollow blocks down to the mm, floor beams well, anyway they are getting ready to fire up the the mixer and the reason they're getting ready to fire up the mixer because the forms are all done 
for the cistern and they're going to be doing the pour of the entire slab the top slab with all the beams integrated into it they'll be doing that very soon well, let's walk downstairs and see where our floor our floor tiles are, are, are at right now in the cr uh it seems like it's a pretty slow process going on down there So what you see going on here is we're doing all the electrical and the PPR pipe uh, for the pump station. We have to have some kind of a pump station to get the water out of the cistern to any of the irrigation system when we start developing the irrigation system here. So uh, you got to have power and uh, that's our power over there. And then we have a one inch, uh, we have a one inch PPR pipe and we have a smaller one. I don't know if it's a three quarter inch or what the other one is. Uh, the smaller one is going to be used in, the, in case we don't have rain for a long period of time, which that's not going to be a problem this time of year. Uh, but there are dry spells around here. So we can fill water into the cistern when it gets down to a lower level. Uh, and that's what that smaller PPR pipe is over there. And that one will be from, we can turn it on and turn it off from the house, uh, from around the corner over there. Uh, we will always have water inside the cistern for the yard. And then uh, the bigger pipe is going to go to a, a, there will be a filter at the very bottom of the one inch PPR pipe. And then it goes up to a, a booster pump, which will be in a pump station out here. And uh, that will be an on-demand, so anytime you open any of the spigots in the backyard, or if you turn your sprinkler system on with a manifold and your regular sprinkler valve system, then uh, it will it will sense the reduction of the pressure, and it will turn on automatically and and reprovide or uh, recharge the the system with the proper amount of pressure. And as a backup solution, you see we have that two inch. We have a two inch. Uh, PVC pipe going down inside there in the event that we want to put a sump pump inside there, if we need to do it for like uh, getting water out of this somehow uh, maybe to do maintenance or something like that we have that option and we can run the mm, the, the power cable through that two inch pipe down to a sump pump inside and we can get water out that way as well. Anyway, it's gonna be about 45 minutes before the window team gets here. So what I'm gonna do is, I remember I was gonna go and have lunch downtown but I can't do that right now and I don't wanna miss lunch. I've done this before where they say they're gonna be here at a certain time and I waited and didn't go to lunch and they come later because they might be doing lunch too. Uh, so I'm gonna go grab some loamy right uh, outside of Dennis's place real quick uh, and then come back here and it should be perfect timing to meet up with the window team.
Well, anyway, I just did the drone footage so that you could kind of see what's going on on the roof. And you're probably going to say to yourself, since you've been watching the drone footage, uh, it seems like we have less roof now than we did before. Because uh, you can probably look at this area here on the front of the porch, and you're going to say, where did all the sea purlins go that were on the front of there before? Hmm, well, that means you are keen, <laughs> and you are, you are very observant, and you are paying attention. Uh, well, they had to remove all of the purlin off of off of this part of the roof. And today, what they've been doing, we are no, we are behind today, because the the roofing purlin on several of the runs, the roofing team did the wrong spacing for the roofing tiles. Uh, it's it's supposed to be, I think, uh, 330, and they did 370, or it's supposed to be 370, and they did 330. I think it was the the first. And, but they did it on several of the uh, sea purlins on there. Some of them they actually got right, and I don't know how they could get some of them right, and then some of them not correct, uh, but they did. So today was a remove the purlins that were on there and make some corrections on some uh, that were up there, and these are all removed right now on this portion of the house. Uh, what does that cost us? That costs us about three days at least that's what my builder says. Mm, three days of roofing work right there. So we're we're already down by about four days. Uh, add another three days. That's a full week that we will be behind on on building the the roof. Uh, and this is an error. Uh, this is not has nothing to do with weather. So that being said, if you're building a house, you have to take into consideration there's going to be setbacks, there's going to be mistakes, there's going to be mm, uh, things with weather and things like that. So uh, plan appropriate. Uh, if you're retired, then you don't have to worry so much, like me. I, I do have a deadline that I want to uh, achieve, but there's going to, uh, we're, we're not going to hit the deadline, the exact deadline, uh, probably where we expect it to be. Now. Uh, that being said, it is the roof, okay? We can continue. That's not going to affect a lot of the work that we're doing down underneath the roof. That's not going to affect the fencing that's being done. As you see today, we did the cistern. So anyway, there. Uh, these are things that you have to anticipate and be prepared for when you're building a house. So anyway, it is, like I said, it is the end of the day. And let's do a quick wrap up of what got done today. And we're going to start from the outside instead of from the inside like we normally do. And today you saw that we got the mm, the cistern top done. I'm not going to walk. The, it is like a muddy mess. But well, let me see if I can walk around this direction. It is a total mess back here with uh, from, from all the water when they cleaned out the the mixer. Anyway, you see we have a uh, we have a top. This huge cistern and you can actually see now uh, you get a better detail uh, a better uh, feeling for what the size of the cistern is and that's our cistern that's the manhole cover there and that's all we're gonna have a pump station over there um, we pulled the form off of the corner fence pole right over there that one column we poured this one we poured this one right here and we poured another one we now have three forms that we can do instead of two so we'll move a little bit quicker on that and then we pulled on the corner of the yard over there, we pulled the form off. So we have two that are done, three that are poured. We'll pull the forms off tomorrow and then we will begin tomorrow. Uh, let's go inside and kind of take a look and see what got done inside the house today. Oh, but before we do, uh, we have some grass. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the home building. This has, has to do with my creature comforts that I got done this morning. So I'm kind of happy about that. Something at least is kind of finished. So inside the house today, you, you can see they, they were doing more of the skim coat for this part of the house. You see they are all, all the way up to the apex of the roof up there. And that's just, I don't know if that's coat one, coat two. I know it's not coat three because there's still a lot of roughness on there. They will be doing some of the, um, the sanding and things like that. Here, I uh, kind of expected this to get done today, but it did not get done. So they are still plumbing this door uh, jam right here for the laundry room. Don't know why it didn't get done. Mm. And this is new, and this is some tin work that's inside the hallway in between bedroom one, bedroom two, and the CR on the first floor. So they are working on some of the tin works for the drop down ceiling uh, on the first floor. 
and as you can see from the drone shot today and from some of the earlier video we have some more we actually have painting going on in the front we have the boys in 701 that's being done and that's the the primer base coat uh, the flat latex white you can see that was done on a lot of the front of the house today uh, they're working on it up here uh, all of this was done right here and that's the base coat before the the final coat that we're going to put on so that's this portion of the house uh, let's go down to the basement just do a real quick look if there's mm, i don't know if there's light on inside the cr down there but we'll see how much of the tile got done because the flooring got done but also we got some of the wall the back wall in the CR where the toilet act is actually going to be installed. So let's take a look and see if we can see that. So as you can see, we have uh, a little bit of a floor inside here and some of the back wall with the different tiling material. You see this tiling material and this tiling material is going to go all the way up. It's going to be in the back back there and it's also going to go on the roof line up here uh, where the shower head is going to be on the top up here. That's going to run all the way down. So that should be a nice pattern right there. And then we have different patterns for this wall right here. The, the niche is going to have a specific kind of tiling, which I showed you uh, when I went to, that was Wilcon, we picked that up and I showed you the patterns we have there. And we'll have a, a separation of, a, of a, a lighter colored right here with a different pattern on this side and both sides. And we will have, and this will end up being, it'll be like a backsplash inside of the kitchen is what that's going to look like. Also today they were doing chipping. You see all the chipping inside there. They're doing the chipping and uh, I, I had expected that to totally be done today. I asked my builder yesterday. I said, will that be done by close of business? All the chipping, all the cleaning in preparation because we are being delivered tomorrow. We are being delivered to waterproofing uh, material for the, the basement floor itself. And all of that is being uh, delivered tomorrow because I already paid for all of that. So anyway, I expected the, the basement to be totally cleaned out today, but that didn't get done. I think mainly because there was a lot of focus and concentration on getting that cistern pour done, that big pour. That was, I think that's got to be our last big pour. The rest of the pours are going to be for, all, for the columns, uh, for the fences and things like that. Uh, but I think that's where most of the workforce kind of migrated. You saw during the uh, the time-lapse video that I did earlier. So that's where we spent a lot of time today. Before I take off for today, I got some shadows I need to get in today. <laughs> uh, I, I, it kind of slipped by me. So, so anyway, I have a birthday wish to Ricky Samargo. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Ricky. And tomorrow is Leanne Huerta's birthday. And her husband is working in Kuwait and uh, he wants to wish you a happy birthday. Uh, both he and I want to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Leanne. And one more birthday wish. Lauren Levizi's husband, DJ, is having a birthday on Thursday, on uh, September 7th. Uh, he, he was formerly with the Navy, the U.S. Navy, and stationed at Subic. So anyway, happy birthday, DJ. So anyway, uh, I had to reschedule. So I, ha I got some notifications of some delivery, of, um, some things I ordered for the house here. And I'm not sure which things, maybe the patch panel that would for the um, control room inside there for all the ethernet or uh, some plumbing, maybe mm, a faucet or something. I got a couple of things that are being delivered tomorrow. So what I did was I rescheduled that uh, meeting with Kelly for the viewing of the 3D CAD. So we'll do that on Thursday. I just, I just called Anna there and she said, yeah, that's fine. So we'll, we'll do that on Thursday. We'll take a road trip on Thursday. So anyway, I'm going to close for today. And uh, yeah, even though it seems like we had some setbacks, we, we were productive in certain areas. And that's what you have to focus on. You have to focus on the positive. And that's what I'm going to try to do here. So anyway, uh, tomorrow is going to be Wednesday. And it's going to be build date 168, I believe. Is it 168? <laughs> I think it's 168. So uh, if not, it's 169. No, I think it's 168. So anyway, t tomorrow's another day, and we will uh, we will focus on whatever tomorrow. Uh, uh, I think we'll be doing more tile work. They'll be cleaning up that basement in preparation for weatherproofing. They will continue to do the finishing on the front of the house with the, uh, the uh, both the skim coat and the uh, the uh, the Boysen 701 for the for the latex primer, and. Uh, 
I hope it's a good day weather-wise because we need to get that roofing team in and we need to move forward. We need to fix the uh, mistakes and, and, and get this roof on this house. So anyway, uh, that's it for today. So anyway, if you enjoy today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PIGM heart in the bottom right-hand side of your screen. And then you will be subscribed and you'll get notified of each video when I upload it. So until tomorrow, you have a wonderful day.